all right hello in this tutorial <coughs> after we have um, we have converted all our data into raster in the previous tutorial so the next task will be that will process our data to we'll convert them from raster to numeric so that will be done using arc GIS and that will be done in ArcMap. So after that, we will then export this data or we import this data into SPSS. And in SPSS, that's when we match all of the data, all of the different um, factors. We we'll match everything. So here now, I'm going to use geology and um, slope, for example. So now to convert i will type raster to a s i i okay now i click on this raster then i will move in the geology so the geology now then i will choose my location where i want to save my date where i want to save the numeric data so now i want to save it in this asi then so i will give it a name so a name that I will be able to remember, which is the name of the factor. So that with that I've done that. So I will do that of um, that of slope as, as well. So now, okay, slope. Okay, All right. So it's pretty simple so this step is very simple how to convert just make sure you convert it well and make sure you name it well so after that now the next part is we importing this into SPSS so I will save this so that I can keep this file so I will save this now Okay, then I can cancel that now. Let me open my SPSS. So what we'll do now, we open this geology. There are always some background information at the beginning. So when we open it, then we'll remove those background informations. Okay, let's our SPSS load. Once it's load, then we can open the geology so that's how we open all other file all other all other factors as well so we remove the background and um, the the headers we call it the headers so we remove the the headers so now just waiting for my spaces to load okay good now okay so you can see the headers, then I will delete it. So when I delete, then I save back. So I will delete all this, I will delete them, then I will save back. Okay, so the same thing I've done here, so I will do for the second factor as well. So this is how you will do for all of the factors. So that's what you do then. So now I can now open this particular this particular file in SPSS. So I will yeah, open then close. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, open one because we have just only one column. Yeah, so yeah, one. Then I can give it name geology. Then okay, then finish. So now I have my year. Then I will save. So let me save it geology. Okay. So now let me open the second one, which is the slope. Also, the slope. Yeah. So the same step is what I will I will follow for this also. So follow the same step. So I will convert the slope. And the slope. Okay. Finish. 
so now I have this also. Yeah, so. so the next thing is I will match these two factors, the slope and the and the geology. So I'm going to match them. Go to data. Go to match. Then okay. Now match. Okay. So I will select that particular file. Yes, I want to match it too. So now you can see that I've matched the two factors. So that's how you match all of the factors. Okay. So that's how you match them. Then I will save. Then I will close them. So now the next part is I will be moving to my waker. So make sure you on your waker. Make sure your waker is on already. So yeah for example may I have all of this. I have everything already. So I'm just showing. So but before I move to my Rika, I need to save okay let me open let me open this file. So after because I need to save it into a CSV file. So I'm going to save it. So let me open Okay, so here are all of my own data. So there are some there are some columns there that I I do not need. So I'm going to remove them. So I will remove all this now. Remove them. Then so I can save. Then I will save as so that it will be useful for me in my. So I will give it total. Okay, still working. Trying to see us. Okay. So now I have saved my data as then so this particular data is what I'll be using. So the file I've saved as CSV is what I'll be using in in Wika. But before I do that, also I will open this CS file in Notepad. So what I will be doing here is that I will be converting the non-data, those data that are empty, into question mark. So Wika does not understand. Non in Waker, non data is seen as question mark. Why in ArcGIS or ArcMap, non data are seen as minus nine 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 nine. So I'm going to show you that now. Yes. Okay. So ArcGIS. Yeah, minus no data. Why in Waker? No data means question mark. So I'm going to replace that. So that's what I did just now. So now after replacing that, then I have saved it. So now I can now move to my waker. So now, yep. So I will. Attribute class first attribute. So I'm gonna look for my data. So here I will right click and say attribute class. Yes. Yeah. So the next thing is you can see there is something so I will rename it. So I will remove it, then remove the question mark. Yeah. So after that, then I can now save it as a Wika file. So I'm going to save this now as a Wika file so that it will be useful for me. So I will give it total. Okay. Now I'm going to open my explorer and yeah. Okay. Narrow down to where my data is. Then I will convert nominal to numeric so what i'm doing here is the <clears throat> all those data that 
they are categorical but that they are not well aligned so i'm going to convert them from numeric to to nominal to I'll group them so i will write the nine bar of each of these so that's what i'm doing now okay so this will take some time so once it's now it's done so i can do this so you can see it now that they are all grouped so this is grouped now this is grouped then you can see now yeah this is good so that's fine and that's ready for us to process so i can save that now